One of the first things that I noticed was that it's very compact. Everything about it is sleek, it's all enclosed, um, it feels really sturdy. It's thin, it's thinner than any book. Um, it's about to think the same weight. It's just really, it's really comfortable. Really comfortable to hold. I read more, I read faster, I read a wider variety of books. I read books that uh, I'm not familiar with, genres that I'm not familiar with because of the wonderful opportunity to get free downloads of samples from Amazon. I'm reading far wider types of materials than I would normally. So easy to read. I mean, it, at first I was worried it would be more like a traditional computer, which is, makes your eyes tired, but it's exactly the opposite. It's actually easier to read than regular old books, which shocked me. Very easy to read. It's better than a book. It's better than a book. It's better than a computer. I'm reading a lot of different things that I haven't read in the past. I'm getting into different genres of writing that in the past I probably would have walked right past that shelf in the in the bookstore at the library. Prior to having a Kindle, when I traveled, it was always, hey, which four books can I afford to squeeze into my carry-on and you know, still have space for my two-day or three-day business trip. And now it's, you know, I don't have to think about it. I just have this one device that I, it's always with me. The wireless connectivity to be able to turn it on and either go shopping for a new book because I'm bored with what I've got or I already own it but it's not on my Kindle and I can go and I can re-access it. One of my old favorites, you know, that I haven't read in a few years and I'm ready to go back into it again. Like that. It seems like I'm reading like maybe three to four books and magazines, but I can keep it all in one place. The selection is just getting bigger and bigger every every day. My local newspapers stopped delivering where I live, which was very disappointing to me because I, I read the local newspapers. And I noticed that the Kindle had my paper, and I could just download it. I could either do it at a monthly charge or I can do it daily, and I can have all that local news right there no matter where I am. If I'm traveling or if I'm at home, it's perfect. First thing I immediately noticed was how lightweight it was. I'm not a person that reads the manual. I like to just get right in and play with something. And it was extremely easy. I think what struck me the most is how easy it was to pick it up and use it. The navigation pages, the next, the previous, the home, the location and placement of the buttons has been really efficient for reading. I like the new menu buttons so that you're you uh, can go right to the menu to get what you want. Uh, one of the things I like about the new Kindle is obviously it's small form factor, it's quite small, but also I don't need to carry a separate charger, it's USB chargeable. I found that the battery life is great, it lasts a lot longer than I thought it would. I can go for several days of reading and not have to charge it. You can easily just change the type down like that, so you can read as much on a page as you can. What's even nicer on the new Kindle is you can actually have it read to you if you want to do your cooking or something and you don't want to put the book down. You can't continue reading. You can have it read it to you. Guys, got it. You got it. You got it right initially. I really think Amazon nailed it with you. So I'm a bibliophile and I love my Kindle. I love it. I read it every day. I love my Kindle. <laughs> I do. I, I just, it's one of those, you know, certain things in life that you just won't give up.